All right, so this is going to be a quick video showing the inside of this ASUS uh, FA707R or FA707RM-ES73, all right? So, I don't know if it has another special name. Oh, here you go. Um, the other name is ASUS Tough Gaming A17, okay? So, this had liquid spilled on it. The customer already opened it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be showing what it looks like inside, okay? So, there's this little gap here. We're going to have to pop the clips out. So what I do is I get my fingernails in that gap between the base cover and the palm rest and I'm going to push with my thumb on the bottom and pull with my fingernails. You can see it pops out just like that and we're going to go all the way around. Okay, then it kind of goes up a little bit here so you got to go over there and pop up there as well. Um, while pulling it I can just slide my fingernail in and pop that out. Okay, same thing with this side. Pull it up and then where it has the plastic we're just going to go in there and pop that out. Okay. The back here might be a little bit more difficult. Oh, actually, no. Okay, and then you can get under there and then pop those clips just like that. Okay, so the customer already opened this and kind of moved stuff around. So here you can see, I think they already they put a new SSD in here. This is an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. Let me actually zoom out a little bit and get a thumbnail here. Get the entire thing in view. Okay, so there you go. Here you can see the entire inside. All right, and I'm just going to point out um, stuff so you can see. There's the battery connector here. Uh, let me zoom in. To disconnect that, there's a metal latch. You slide that up, and then you can pull that out. Okay. Um, there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. We're just going to quickly look at all the components. You got the speaker here connected by that cable, and then there's a cable that run runs along underneath the red and black one, sorry, over here runs along to this speaker over here. Okay, wireless antennas, there's two of them down here. Run on, um, they run underneath. The customer actually left the wireless antennas disconnected um, because they do go underneath this other SSD that's here. You can see they peeled this and it tore that. Um, but yeah, there's this plastic thing on top. There's an SSD here, and then there's the wireless card underneath the SSD. Um, I don't know if you can see it. They're right there. You can see one of the little wireless antenna things. If you want to see how to remove the wireless antennas, you can watch my other videos. Um, I show that on a lot of them. Oops, give me a seat. All right, then you got, looks like keyboard connector here with a flip latch. You got another connector here. I don't know, they left stuff disconnected. So um, they probably took it apart, tried to clean it up and then it didn't work. So yeah, keyboard backlight connectors right there. There's this orangey gold colored connector here that connects this USB port over here. Okay. All right, you got two fans in this laptop. All right, one's here and it connects to the motherboard over here. All right, that's a very small connector that you kind of have to just wiggle to pull out. And another fan connector there. You got the LCD LVDS connector here, which has a flip latch. If you're going to mess with this, make sure you open it, open the computer, disconnect this, uh, open up the laptop, and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. If you don't, you run the risk of frying the computer. All right, here's the RAM. There's two sticks. It looks like some of the stuff, the soup that they spilled, left some residue there. So likely not going to be repairable. Um, they took all the labels off here, so I can't really see what type of RAM this is, but uh, let me compare it to another stick. It might actually be, is this GDR4? I think this is actually DDR5 RAM. So, problem is, I don't have any other DDR5 RAM, but uh, this looks like DDR5 RAM because the notch is so close to the center. Um, and yeah, you got the CPU, GPU um, heatsink here. Uh, they are soldered to the motherboard, also held in with some kind of glue stuff here, so not going to be removable. And then you got this. It says this is an LED connector. So yeah, I'm not too sure. There's not really much else in here to look at. Let's actually open this up and press and hold the power button to do a power drain. So we're going to just drain the power here. Okay, I guess that's for this LED board thing here that shows the indicator lights, uh, the hard drive activity and things like that. But uh, 
yeah there's not really much else to look at in here it looks like the screen shouldn't be too difficult to remove there's a little plastic cover holding some screws in place you can pop those out and then the frame should just pop out but there's adhesive holding it so i don't want to mess around with that because there's some risk we can um, damage the screen all right but anyways we're just going to go ahead and reconnect the battery here again this is just a quick look inside not really repairing anything um, because it is liquid damage and probably I'm not going to be able to do anything about it because it doesn't get any power nothing at all it's completely fried um, that kind of thing I'll see if my partner wants to take a look at it but uh yeah usually when it's that bad it's probably not going to be repairable or it'll be super expensive okay so that's pretty much it it looks like I don't really see anything else to talk about in here oh the keyboard is held in with melted plastic um, so if you need to replace the keyboard keep that in mind um, touchpad looks like it might be repair or replaceable but you do have to take the entire motherboard out because there are screws under there but this part looks like it's held in with melted plastic so maybe not um, battery does have connections from both sides so that's interesting and then there's this little cable here that's not they didn't label these cables so I'm not too sure what's there but anyways that's pretty much it that was the quick look inside the customer did take the screw so I don't have screws to put back but I guess I can snap the cover back on and show you what that looks like okay um, so let's go ahead and put that back together pretty much just line this all up okay probably best to get the back in first and then just pinch that to click it all into place all right then we'll work our way down okay and there we go so yeah not really much else to this hopefully this video helped you at least to know how to upgrade your computer um, again I believe it's DDR5 RAM and then there's two M.2 PCIe NVMe SSDs excuse me all right and yeah that looks like that's pretty much it not really much else to go on here all right and if you do end up needing to replace a lot of these components looks like it'd be very expensive so hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did again please make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well leave a comment uh, because YouTube algorithm likes to see that and yeah if it helped you um, and you can't contribute to the channel um, you can always help by watching a few of my other videos and then liking and commenting on those. Um, yeah, because YouTube likes that. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.